little dragons. All right, ready? Oh, the questions, I'm still asking them. Raise your hand, before we begin, raise your hand if you are good at following directions. All right, raise your hand if you are good at listening during class and not just talking all the time, even when you're at home. Okay, taking the live streaming class. All right, well, here's your test. Put your hands on your hips and jump the feet apart. Jump the feet together. Jump the feet apart. Jump the feet together. Jump the feet apart. Jump the feet together. Apart. Together. Apart. Together, apart, together, apart, together, apart, together, apart. Wait, that's together. Apart, together, apart, together, apart, together. Apart. Apart, 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 together. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up, up. Down, down. Up, up, up. Down, down, down. Jack. Together. One sir. And I just made up the word jack because they're called jumping jacks. So is that a verb if I say jack? Yeah. Like run? Mm -hmm. That's a verb, not an adjective. Yeah. It's important to learn these things. Are you doing your schoolwork? Alright. Jack! What number are we on? Together. Two sir. Two sir. Jack. Together. Three sir. Three sir. Jack. Together. Four, sir. Four, sir. Jack. Together. Five, sir. Five, sir. Jack. Together. Six, Six sir. sir. Jack. Together. Seven, Seven sir. sir. Jack. Together. Eight, Eight sir. sir. Jack. Together. Nine, sir. Jack. Together. Ten, sir. Guess what? That's right. Ten in a row. Go. One sir, two sir, three sir, four sir, five sir, six sir, seven sir, eight sir, nine sir, ten sir. Again! Again! One sir, two sir, three sir, four sir, five sir, six sir, seven sir, eight sir, nine sir, ten sir. Again! Again! One sir, two sir, three sir, four sir, five sir, six sir, seven sir, eight sir, nine sir, ten sir. Again, okay. One sir, two sir, three sir, four sir, five sir, six sir, seven sir, eight sir, nine sir, ten sir. Be, there, be sure to count. Are you counting? Of course you are. One sir, two sir, three sir, four sir, five sir, six sir, seven sir, eight sir, nine sir, ten sir. Again? Okay. One sir, two sir, three sir, four sir, five sir, six sir, seven sir, eight sir, nine sir, ten sir. Okay. Okay, one more. One sir, two sir, three sir, four sir, five sir, six sir, seven sir, eight sir, nine sir. Squat. Thrust. Squat. Stand. One sir. Squat. Thrust, squat, stand. Two, sir. Squat, thrust, squat, stand. Three, sir. Very good. Are you counting as good as Miss Kelly? I bet you are. Wait, what number was that? Three, sir. Squat, thrust, squat, stand. Four, Four sir. sir. <clears throat> Squat, thrust, squat, stand. Five, sir. Squat, thrust, squat, stand. Six, sir. Squat, thrust, squat, stand. Seven, sir. Squat, thrust, squat, stand. Eight, sir. Squat, thrust, squat, Stand. Nine, sir. Squat. Thrust. Squat. Stand. Ten, sir. Oh, very good. Very good. 
Well, I've been saying this each time we've been meeting because I know this might be your first time watching this and following with this in the distant future. And if you're live streaming it right now. So in class, we run up and down the room and we have these heavy bags that you can't see right now. But if you've been in the class, you have. And we run all the way up the row. And we run around heavy bag and all the way back. So who has a good imagination? So use your imagination. And if you had a class in this room, then you can imagine more easily. There's a bag at the end in the distant, in the distance in front of you. Don't wreck into your screen. And we're gonna pretend we're running all the way there and back. So this is how it goes. When I say go, I want you to run all the way down to the end of your row. Run around your heavy bag. And run back how many times? 10. 10 times. But we're really just gonna run in place and imagine with our good imagination that we're going all the way down and back. All right? Start your engines. Go! Around the bag. Run back. What do you say? What do you say? One, One sir. sir. Go. And around the bag. And all the way back. And Two, two sir. sir. Go. Around the back. All the way back. Three, sir. She's fast. Three, sir. Go. Around the back. Four, sir. Four, sir. Catching up. <laughs> Whoa! Fast. Six, Six sir. sir. Again. Ooh, I got it fast. Seven, Seven sir. sir. Go, 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 go. Eight, Eight sir. sir. Go. What number's next? Sir, go. Go straight, go straight. Tensor. Tensor. Whew. That's getting easier, isn't it? All right. So, what is another way that we can go all the way down to the end of our row and back? around the heavy bag. Say it, what is that? What, again, what was that? Skipping? Okay, I, I can only pick one of y'all. All right, okay. Wait, that's not skipping. <laughs> wait, wait, don't go, don't go. Ready, and skipping, go. Skip, skip, <clears throat> skip, 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 on the bag. No, don't whistle. Who's whistling? Stop it. Don't whistle. What's another way? Okay, hopping. That's easy. Hopping. Oh, hopping on one leg? Well, that's harder. Okay, maybe not so hard for you. Let's try. Go. After you go around the bag, switch to the other foot to hop back. And then we get to do both sides. What's another way we can get to the end of the row and go around our heavy bag? Anyone? Frog leaping. Frog leaping? <sighs> okay. You know what? Oh, what does that look like, Miss Kelly? 
Oh, that's not really frog leaping. Frog leaping. Frog leaping. Frog leaping. Okay, okay. That's like called squat hopping, I think. <laughs> okay, you ready? Is someone messaging me? No. I told people to message me if the YouTube goes down. All right. And squat. Did we do the squat press already? Yeah. Okay. And ready, go, go. Ready, and go. Frog hop, baby, what is it, baby? Frog, frog leaping. <laughs> baby frog leaping around the bank. <sighs> yeah, the frog leaping I will not be demonstrating today. I know you can demonstrate it though, right? Because you squat low and then you jump as high and far as you can and then land again. That's a frog leaping. Yeah. What, what did you say? What's another one? Okay. What's another way? AJ must be in class. Rolling like a roly poly. <laughs> Ready and go. Rolling like a roly poly. Oh, I forgot to go around the bag. Did you forget to go around the bag? Don't forget to go around the bag. Run back, run back, run back! <sighs> okay. Oh, you have another one we should do? Well, tell your mom or dad or whoever's with you to send me a message what it is, and we'll start with that one next class. Because guess what? It's time to S-T-R-E-T-C-H stretch. stretch. Sit down where you are, stretch your legs out in front of you. And what do we do when we're stretching? If those are new, anyone new here? What do we, yeah, the dragon eyebrows. If you reach up, bend forward, touch your toes. One, count to 10, go. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir. Who has the dragon eyebrows? Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. 10, sir. Bam, one leg in, reach up again. Bam, forward, touch your toes. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir, nine, sir, ten, sir. Y otro lado también, reach up and reach to the other side. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Bottom of the feet together. Flap your dragon wings. Bend forward. Touch your nose to your toes or as far as you can go. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Open the legs wide apart. Palms up. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Reach to one side. Y el otro lado también. On the other side. And then both sides. And remember, we count the colors of the sashes from white sash to black sash. Ready? White sash, gold sash, orange sash, green sash, blue sash, purple sash, red sash, brown sash, brown black sash, black sash. Good job. Juntos, bring the feet together. Reach up, bend forward, touch your toes. Count fast with me. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, ten. Stand up. Okay, twist it out. I told you we've been starting the crane stances. I think this is class number four. So 
I break it down the most in the first couple of classes, and then each class, I assume you're getting better at them, aren't you? And then I go a little faster and I say a little less about it. But we'll continue to work on the crane stances as part of the crane basics for tiger and crane kung fu. That's what kind of kung fu you study. Tiger and crane. If someone says, what kind of kung fu do you do? You say, tiger and crane kung fu. They say, what does that mean? It has the moves like a tiger and the moves like a crane combined for the ultimate in self-defense and discipline. I told you last time I was gonna start facing the other way. We did that last time and we do it this time again. So, if you can't see me, you can probably see Miss Kelly a little bit. I'll probably scoot up a little bit. I'll have to look, we'll have to watch this later and see. So sometimes you can copy me and sometimes you can copy her. Right? How's that you saying? Yes, sir. Remember when I say attention stance, bring your feet together or your feet together. Is your dad doing class with you again? Make sure his feet are together. Stand tall. Yes, sir. And follow me. And remember, you have to copy which foot. So check which foot you're doing and make sure it's the same ones that I'm doing. High crane. High crane. Did you say it? Now look, which foot did you put out? Did you do the right one? And middle crane. Middle crane. Did you pump the knees up? Did you put the other foot out? Or you, can you tell? And low crane. Low crane. Parents, get, let them have a chance to figure it out without your help. Little dragons, maybe let your parents try to figure it out without your help. And here he goes, a tricky one. Monkey. Monkey. Hop. Hop. Are you still with me? Both stands left. Both stands left. Did we do more last time? Yes, we did. Okay, try this one. Cross stance. Right. Cross stance right. Did you cross the foot behind? Clap. Now your back should be to the screen now. And it's okay if it's not. But if it is, look over your shoulder and see if you can see me. But look over your left shoulder. Parents, you have to help them out with that one. Sometimes it's confusing. And keep turning to the left and say bow stance left. Bow stance left. Crane stance right. Crane stance right. Now check which leg you did. Do you have the same as me? It's my right leg. And hop and say dragon stance right. Dragon stance right. Can you do it? Feet the other. Yes, sir. Run back. Okay, don't run back. Did I forget to tell you, don't attack your screen. Make sure you step far enough away from your screen that you don't run into it, all right? So find that spot that's better if that did happen for you. So you may have to step back a little bit. Give yourself some room. All right, here we go. We're gonna go a little bit. F-A-S-T-E-R. Faster. Yep. <laughs> Up there, Jazan. Yes, sir. Stand top. Yes, sir. Well, I better scoop back too. Is my head cut off? Of the screen it's okay if it is because you'll see me better when I get to the ending moves ready here we go high crane high crane middle crane middle crane low crane low crane monkey monkey hop hop both stands left both stands left cross stance Right. Cross stance right. Clap. Keep turning the same way. Both stance left. Both stance left. Crane stance right. Crane stance right. Dragon stance right. Dragon stance right. Feet together. Yes, sir. I just remembered a promise I made to you last class. 
I promised I'd turn around so you could see it from the front. So, this time, you can try to copy, but you don't have to copy. I'm just gonna demonstrate it one time facing you so you can see what the hands are doing because when I'm facing that way, my back is in the way and who knows what I'm doing with my hands. You can't really see them. All right, so take a look. I'm getting away from the camera so I have room to come at you and not bump into you. Man, what would happen if I did the move and my hands came right through the screen into your room, living room, I guess. Or, I know, one of you has a workout room, too. That would be like science fiction or something. All right, so take a look. Don't do anything, just watch. I'm gonna demonstrate it one time. I'm still gonna say the things like I'm teaching. Attention stands. Yes, sir. Stand tall. Yes, sir. High crane. Middle crane. Low crane. Monkey hop. Bow stance left, cross stance right, clap, bow stance left, crane stance right, dragon stance right, feet together. All right, let's do it one or two more times together. How about one more time with me, and then one more time with Miss Kelly, and then you know what. Sit. Yes, sir. Stand tall. Yes, sir. High crane. High crane. Middle crane. Middle crane. Low crane. Low crane. Monkey hop. Monkey hop. Both stance left. Both stance left. Cross stance right. Cross stance right. Did you copy the feet? Clap. Both stance left. Both stance left. Crane stance right. Crane stance right. So guys, we can do that 36 more times, or, yeah, we can do the 36 chambers. Okay, get ready, and if your parents are participating, get them in the right spot, let them try it too. A little dragons program here at Master Drawings Tai Chi and Kung Fu is something that as of this recording, We've been doing, when I say we, I mean me, I've been teaching every Monday and Wednesday at 4 p.m. for like 18 years, all right? And I have lots of students who are big dragons, and you know, some even who went to high school and have went to college already, and I just see them on the internet because they've moved away. So, you ready? What is the first chamber? of the 36 chambers. That's right, it's ducking! It's ducking! It's ducking! Duck! 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 If you want another turn, come back up. Duck! 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 Second chamber? I know that was easy. What's the second one, though? Jumping! It's right, jumping! Yes! Oh my gosh! Look at Miss Kelly, she's got... Oh my gosh! Jump! 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 Did your dad jump? Jump! Jump! Yep, yep, jump, 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 jump! Ha. Ha. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> okay, what's the third chamber? That's right, dodging! Remember, it's not running, and you'll run into your screen anyways. So dodging is get out of the way and come back. Because you want another turn, right? 
So if you're already over there, why would I keep, if I swing here and you dodge and you stay over there, well, I'm gonna miss you because you're not even there. That's not much fun. <laughs> oh, Miss Kelly knows. Can you do it? Ah. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> we're gonna start doing this in the advanced black sash class when we're back here live. <laughs> All right, what is the, oh, oh, sneak attack. What is the, what's one more on? Fourth one. That's right, evading. If you just turn, that's okay, but you're gonna get hit. If you just move a little, you'll get hit. But if you move a little and turn like a door, then I'll miss. Ready? Here it comes. Get out of the way a little and turn, don't spin. Go. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, my clocks aren't the same. Let's do one more anyways. What's the next one? That's right, duck, jump. 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 Duck, jump, 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 duck, jump. Okay, very good. Okay, very good, very good, very good. I think that's our time, and I have another class right after this. So Let's go ahead and bow out, and I'm going to put these all together in a group, like a playlist. So if you did jump into this in the middle and you want to see it from the beginning, send me an email, even if it's 10 years from when, you're, when you see this was recorded, and I will send you a playlist of the classes in the order. Each class we build on what we've been working on. We do that for about seven weeks, six to eight weeks. So I say seven weeks, about 14 classes. We're doing mostly the same thing, a little bit of variety, a lot of connection for crane basics. And then we'll do basic punches and kicks for seven weeks and basic tiger kung fu for seven weeks. And in Little Dragons, they get to do one of the black sash training things. That's pretty much the most fun thing. It's called poison hands. Spread the tiger hide the Dragon. Yes, <laughs> but not today. <laughs> We're doing crane. So, but you have a lot to look forward to is what I'm trying to say. So let's go ahead and bow out. We follow the five hearts, faith, respect, perseverance, patience, and humility. Bow to Grandmaster. Bow to Apprentice Instructor. Bow to Little Dragons and bow to your parents and grandparents or whoever's taking care of you at home. Little Dragons, fly to the 